Okay, so with your Wi-Fi enabled computer or Wi-Fi enabled device, you can now search for your hotspot in the list of available networks. And on a PC, you can do this um, with this icon down here. Um, you can view available wireless networks. That's one way to do it. Or you can come over here to the start menu and you can connect to wireless network connection. And here it is. Here's a list of the wireless connections in uh, my perimeter. And there's my dot spot mountain cafe. Again, you can name this whatever you want. But um, so let's connect to it. And it's connected right away. So that's a good sign. Now, before we go ahead and open up a browser and access the internet, I want to show you a, tr um, a trick. Let's open the, up the command prompt and type in the command ipconfig. Press return. And what you'll see here is under your Ethernet adapter wireless network connection, that your DNS suffix is key.chilispot.org. Now that means that you successfully connected through ChiliSpot. And if it does not say this, then you did something wrong with your router. Your router isn't connecting properly and you have to go back and log into the router's interface and reconfigure it somehow. Okay, and now we're ready for a browser test. Um, go ahead and open up any browser and let's try to access the internet. We're automatically redirected to your hotspot login page. Here it is. It worked. Everything's configured right. And now it's ready to accept tickets. You can sell tickets online. You can advertise for free tickets here. You can also disable this. And um, you can sell prepaid tickets. The hotspot info that you added earlier it can be accessed here so people can call you. They can, they can see what you have to offer at your hotspot. And um, you can totally fully customize this part too. You can upload graphics, HTML. You can um, make it a little bit more custom towards your business. Also, it is translated in about 10 different languages. And this process takes you all the way to the PayPal payment page in whatever language that that you configure in your control panel. Okay, so let's test this out. Does it really work? Okay, well let's go to google.com and it doesn't work. It gets rejected back to the, the dot spot homepage. Okay, well let's try ebay.com. Again, it gets rejected. It's not getting through. Also, any applications that you have that work with the internet are not going to work right now. Nothing is getting through unless you specified it in your chili spot settings. Now, one thing you did specify is um, dotspot.com. So you can access your control panel right now and you can get your tickets that you need to log in. So let's do that. Uh, let's do it in a, let's open up a new tab and go to dotspot.com. Let's log into your control panel. Uh, go ahead and put in your username and password. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to the ticket, ticket section. And we're going to get us some tickets so we can log into our own hotspot. And the way I recommend doing it is by going to the prepaid tickets and let's go ahead and turn this feature on and let's do a batch name of I don't know mountain no let's do um, let's do one hour okay time let's do an hour currency this doesn't really matter. Put in, put in whatever you want. Um, count. I'm going to do an eight of them. 
and you can also upload a logo and I'll show you why create a batch you can create a you can print these out at home now here's a PDF out a PDF output file and as you can see here here are your hotspot cards. This is the default graphic. You can upload your own, and you can have these. You can print these out at home and cut them up and give them to your customers. You can sell them, give them away, do whatever you want. You can also get them professionally printed if you want, and you do so. You you give uh, the professional printers this Excel file, and you can create your own graphics and have custom print prints, custom prepaid cards. So anyhow, this is. Our, um, our this is our batch right here and your username and passwords are now valid to log into your hotspot so let's do that also while we're here just for fun let's go um, to our login page and as we can see here this is the custom part this is um, this is the image that we see now and We can add to this. Welcome to the Mountain Cafe. This can take um, HTML, it can do Flash, you can even, I believe you can do videos even. Um, but you have a lot of control here. You can upload, you can upload images and pretty much create anything you want here. Submit it, and there you go. It is available now on your home page. So let's go log in. Here we are. Again, let me show you that we are locked out of the internet. DotSpot is not letting us in. And let's go ahead and use our username and password. And this is for a 60 minute pass. Log in. And it is successful. It takes you to uh, mywifitime.com, which is owned by DotSpot as just a way for people to remember what to go back to to be able to log out. If you log out, it'll save your time. Now, there's also a time saving feature, which I can show you here tickets, time control. Now, now you can select continuous time or non-continuous time. Now if you, if you um, let's do continuous time. Let's save this. Go back to our login page. And now, now it's gone. Now you can't log out.